When I first came into the area, I saw this piece of land. It was right next to one of the world's best fly fisheries, the Henry's Fork of the Snake River. And we jumped right on that piece of property and started building the lodge. I thought I could fly fish while I had the phone in my pocket taking reservations. And that actually happened early on in the early days in 1999. Dave would go cut the logs and peel the logs. Sometimes he'd make our sons peel some logs, but they were pretty, pretty little. Growing up here was something special. We literally worked every aspect of it. I started out as a little kid doing dishes and bussing tables and then waiting tables. When we finally got the lodge built and open, we would have like two hour waits and people loved it, loved it. The lodge was full every single night. It was going so well that they were getting ready to expand. And then that summer, uh, we lost my little brother. He was 10 years old when he died. It was, it was dark, it was a dark bad time. And my mom fell out. When we lost that little boy, our life stopped. And I went to bed for three years. And I didn't, I didn't get up. So without her here, my dad was forced to run everything by himself. And that's kind of the way he coped with everything. There was just a darkness and a sadness that surrounded our family for years. Business is quite slow. I'd say it's probably 25% compared to 100% back then. Dave and Dee need some help. Zach came back about a year ago to help me run the restaurant and lodge. He sees constantly how it's a struggle for me to keep up with the uh, restaurant side, so he came back to help. You take a young man, you stick him in there, and you put him as a general manager. A general manager, in my opinion, is somebody who needs to know the inside and outside of the whole operation. But he doesn't know these things. Dave and I are tired, and it's just like a black hole for us. And we don't want to work this hard anymore. Making a comeback is our last hope. It's my best hope. I've just arrived at Island Park, Idaho, and it is absolutely gorgeous. This city is nicknamed Last Chance because it literally is the last place to stop for food, gas, and lodgings before entering Yellowstone National Park. And this location is one of the most prestigious fly fishing areas anywhere in the world. It's a fisherman's paradise. There it is, Angler's Lodge. How on earth could this place go wrong? Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. Well, hello. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Savannah. Savannah Gordon, nice, nice to see you. Me too. Wow. My goodness me, this place is gorgeous. Who built it? My father. No, stop. Yeah. Seriously. Their hands. You are kidding me. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's all family business. We're wow. all in it together. Wow. Um, and recently, my oldest brother, Zach, took over the restaurant. So Zach's the restaurant manager. Mm -hmm. Is mum and dad around? I'd love to meet them. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll follow you. Wow. Uh, look at those beauties up there. That's a vegetarian nightmare up there. Yeah. <laughs> There's fish everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> huh? For real. Hello. I'm Dee Dee. Dee Dee, how are you? Very nice to meet you. How are you? My brother. Preston, Preston nice good to see you. Likewise. How are you Zach? doing, Chef? Well, this is definitely a family-run business, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Gordon, how are you? The gentle giant with the Midas <laughs> touch by the looks of things. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> this place is gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Um, did you well, build it, really? I did build it. Wow. Just had a vision in my mind, and we put things up, took them down until it looked right. And do you live on the property? I do. We have a cabin right across the way. Just here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you built that as well. I did. <laughs> Where was the conversation you both had when you decided to go ahead and build it? We found this old beat-up building. There was a for sale sign on the back side of it, so we made a deal, and here we are, started building. Um, what was the dream, Didi? What was the ambition? Well, you know, we just love, love the beautiful river. And we just thought it would boom, you know, because of the beauty. Yeah. It's really one of the most beautiful spots in Idaho. Right. And people just loved it. So there was like a two hour wait every night. How long ago was that? 
That was our first two years. Wow. Like that our first two years. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So it got off to a great start. What happened then? We hired another chef, and then people got mad because we changed the menu. After that, we had a tragedy. After the tragedy, my parents just kind of checked out. It was a really hard time for my family, and um, I think it showed in the lodge. You know, they couldn't put their whole heart into it because their heart was broken. So are you in love with it as much today as you were 10 years ago? I'm very proud of it, and I love it, but I'm really tired. Right. We've been here a long time, you know. Our goal is to have the best restaurant in the area and, and then 100 miles around, but through the years, we've just uh, lost interest in that. And he's really tired, you know. He doesn't want to work that hard anymore. Right. So you're the restaurant manager? Yes. And where did you train? I worked at a few really nice places when I was living in San Diego. That was where I probably where I learned the most. Oh, so you went away and then came back? I've been gone for about nine years, yeah. Right. OK, I'm going to get to the room and pack. Um, Zach, why don't you show me to the room? Yes, sir. Oof. God, it stinks, <laughs> no? What's that smell of lemon? I'm not sure. God, that smell of lemon. I mean, why on earth would you need air freshener in here with such beautiful air? Woof. Yes. The smell is. in here is crazy, you know? Let me just quickly open the window. Oh, I guess the back of your throat, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, is someone going to make up the beds? They are made. I've seen dog baskets uh, better. How old are they? They put in about five years ago. Bloody hell, seriously. Yeah, oh, they're shit. definitely old. Is that blood? I don't think so. What is that? I'm not sure. It's a stain anyway. Wow. OK, so um, I'll be down in a couple of minutes for a bite to eat. Sounds great. Yeah, what'd you recommend? She does the rainbow trout here. What's her name? Her name is Gina. OK, great. Thanks for the update. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, thanks, Zach. Wow. The view is breathtaking, but the colour is depressing. I mean, honestly, everything's dark and grey and dingy. And the pillars, look at those. How uninviting. Like, the dog sat on it for the last 10 years. Really do smell. What is that? It's like a piece of candy stuck on a pillow. That's terrible. It's almost like they've fallen out of love for this place. And look at that. Ugh, big dirty stain. It's sad because it's almost on the verge of being neglected. And you've got two owners that have clearly run themselves into the ground. You think of a lodge in this area, you think of something that's cozy, it's warm, inviting. This is depressing. Oh, dear. Always a great way to find out how often the place is cleaned. Check out the filters. Oh, dear. That's... That's 15 years of dust. <coughs> Shit in there. Turn this thing off. <coughs> it doesn't take much to clean that. Hence the reason why this room stinks of air freshener. Hey, how are you? Oh, so nice to meet Likewise, you. Likewise, nice to see you too. What do you think is wrong with the business? Staffing issues. Servers, they're just constantly late and, you know, I wouldn't have a manager. But Zach's the manager. Yes, he would come in at 3 or 4 o'clock. Hey, in the he, afternoon? Yeah. But is that Dave's fault? Is he tight? Uh, does he not want to put money into the business? He wants to be as thrifty as possible. Yeah, you know. this is your menu, right? Mm -hmm. You're the chef, so... Yeah, I know. So who dictates this? Dave, he never let anyone do the food orders, even. No chefs. Really? Mm -mm. But he's controlling you? Yes. And controlling the business mm. tightly, by the yeah. sounds of things. Yeah. Gina, thank you. Thank you. Does your dad realise when you build something this unique, mm -hmm. then you need to have a team to run it? I don't think so, no. I don't think he realizes at all. He doesn't know. Yeah. He doesn't know one bit. He's and not... He doesn't let them order their own food? Uh, no. He watches every penny. Is he that controlling? He really wants to watch what's being sent out and what's being paid for, mm -hmm. the money. Zach, please. Excuse me. Thank you, Zach. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wings are for you, sir, with the homemade huckleberry barbecue sauce. Wow, well, thank you. Are the wings fresh? I believe they come frozen. Gina knew I was coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't buy fresh chicken locally here. 
been served frozen food wasn't the start I was looking for. It looks like it's been dipped in elk's blood. In fact, the food just kept getting worse. Pulling back that ribeye is like pulling back that duvet on my mattress, blood stain, and wow, that's strong in alcohol. He's a good wine for this, right? Art. Gina claims her hands are tied in the kitchen. So at this point, I don't know who to blame. That rice is mush. Who cooked that? It's like oatmeal. What the fuck? Idaho rainbow trout with the herb risotto. Jesus. What's all the uh, squidgy bits around the outside? Those are all the sauces. All the sauces? Yeah. No. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Ah, is that risotto? Or some of the plaster that your dad left over from building the new lodge? <laughs> It's still got the scales on it as well. Why would you leave the skin that's soggy like some used condom? <laughs> that has to be the worst trout I've ever seen in my entire career. Wow. Does mum and dad see this food? Do they come and have dinner? They hate everything. They hate the, the dish or? Everything. They don't like the way that she does anything. Then why is she here? When you're in the heat of the season, we kind of just take what we can get. You can't keep on changing your chef every year. I, I agree. We do it every year. Fuck it now. If this place wasn't run by your parents, would you work here? Hell no. Not, not for a second. I don't want to run a restaurant. How keen are you to get out? I, I'm desperate. And if you got a job tomorrow, would you be off? Yeah, I feel like I've kind of done my part, the part that I told them that I would do. You're obviously concerned, and you're doing it more out of affection as opposed to you really want to be here. Sounds like your mind's made up. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's get them out, please. Would you both come out, please? Both of us? Would you come out? Both of you. What if I don't want to? <laughs> Jeff Ramsey, nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you too. Wow, uh, so I'm lost for words. What feedback did you get throughout my lunch? I didn't say anything didn't throughout say a word this. To Nothing me. at all? Not yet. Course by course? You didn't even talk to them? No. Why not? I figured that was what you were going to do when we were done. I was hoping at least you're going to say something to them so they can up their game, no? I actually expected you to say something, and I thought, well, should I ask? Or I kept thinking, OK, it must be OK. I haven't heard any comments. Don't you want the truth? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Do you know the owners hate your dishes? No. You don't know the owners hate your food? No, I did not know that. You've got no idea that Dee Dee can't stand the curry? No, I never knew that. I feel like people have been lying to me. Do you know, I don't blame her. Let me, I, I'm going to be frank. The ribeye was overcooked. It looked like we'd opened at the bottom of the dishwasher and that plug was blocked with bits of floating grease. Oh, <laughs> oh God. You may find it funny, but you're no, not a no, chef. No, it was funny the way you just described no, it. No, but art, right. I mean... No, I'm not trying to laugh about the real No, no, but uh, fucking hell. Look where we're sat, though. If you phoned me on my telephone in the car and asked me what do you think I'm going to be having, I would have never have mentioned those dishes. You did nothing to blow me away. I'm trying to use the ingredients that Dave asked me to use. A lot of it is cost, so I was tied to that. Art, you're the sous chef. Is there any synergy in what you're doing? No. You're just doing it to survive. No one's thinking long term. It's stifling the business. I'm amazed you're still open. Zach, I don't know if you've got one foot in, one foot out. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, I've not been super invested, that's for sure. Get the fuck out of here. Hi. So far, I've learned that Dave and Dee Dee are checked out, and Zach just doesn't want to be here. Tonight at dinner service, I'm curious to see if Dave is actually holding Gina back in the kitchen. Um, so, Gina, explain the line. Don't stop working. But OK, I work right here in the saute area. And then art I'm takes the care. section doing the burgers, the steaks. And Zach? He mostly stands behind the bar. So he's not the restaurant manager, then. He's the barman. He's supposed to be. He went from the bottom to the top this summer. Nothing in between. But you don't get support from him. Doesn't know how to. Doesn't know how to. What's the uh, microwave for, Gina? Uh, to heat the dip up. 
Not my choice, but not my choice to do a lot of things. Wow. You're the chef, right? Yes. So what you say goes, no? Should be, chef. Jesus Christ. Why? Art. Did you make that? No. What is that? It's some kind of cheesecake. That was a collapsed cheesecake. It looks like a landmine. What year is that from? Like 1876. Wow. Next ticket. Karina, please. Your salad will be right up. Full time or part time? It's okay to chew gum in front of customers, or Dave just lets it go on? Um, probably not okay. No, it's very gross. <laughs> And Zach, I know you can't tell staff what to do, but uh, this young lady's chewing gum. I just, I don't know. You're right, yes. Yeah. No, I know, but um, it's. It's not typical. No, yes. Sorry? Yeah, it's not typical. Laura, please shoot, spit your gum out. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, you. you're good. What's going on here? Yeah, you're right. She didn't have gum. Absolutely. Excuse me for just one second. What the? What's going with the ribeye? Curry that I'm putting with the second chef. But don't you talk to each other? So the food can hit the window at the same time. If you open up and talk to Art, then Art can take the sauce out of the container and heat it up in a pot. Yeah. If you'll hand it to me, I can do it right here. I got lots of time. I'm doing it. Man. For a tiny kitchen trying to expedite this food, it so never needs to be this hard. You know that, Gina? You don't like talking, do you? Um, it's hard for me when I'm working. I'm sorry. But you're doing desserts. Can't the young man do the desserts? Yes. I know. Wow. Everyone tells me I need to relinquish responsibility. Guys are more capable. He can slice a cheesecake with his nice clothes. Yes, chef. Anyone can do it. But you prefer wasting time doing it yourself. I know. Just as it couldn't get any worse. The problem with this lodge is becoming more apparent. There's just no communication. Gina doesn't speak to the kitchen. Dave and Dee Dee ignore the problems, and Zach just doesn't know how to take command. Oh, man. It's so dysfunctional. Yeah. My chicken is a little cold. Oh, is it? What does she say? The chicken breast is cold. Cool. Gina, this chicken is cold. She would like a new chicken breast on something. Absolutely. New chicken breast, please. Just stop for two seconds. Yes, sir. Zach. Yes, ma'am. Art. Well, I just want you to touch that. Touch it. It's Art. ice cold. It's ice cold. That's what we resulted in sending. You're just drowned, weighing over your head. A mess, a big mess. M E double -S, S. Oh, man. So I was underwhelmed and disappointed. You build this place to the absolute spec, beyond belief, but. I was disappointed in my room. The bed's terrible. Zach, I pulled back the top duvet and there was blood underneath the duvet. The air conditioning filters were just full of shit. It was really shoddy, really shoddy. And it broke my heart. I didn't even build the fucking place. Right. And, and look at the kitchen tonight. What I don't get is the service and the offering, because it was shocking. The chicken goes out ice cold, slightly pink, and nobody cares. And that dreadful cheesecake. Well, that cheesecake collapsed when I left the kitchen the Get other night. Get rid of it. I, I was, I did today. No, you didn't. I know. I mean, you're fucking nuts. Okay. Nuts. You wrote that menu, Gina. I did. You said your hands were tied, so you've got no freedom. Um, Dave gave me more freedom, I believe, than he's given chefs in the past. So sorry, you have freedom. I'm just going on what you've told yes, me. Yes, I, I mean, he now, gave I'm not me... talking about chefs. And listen, you told me lunchtime, your hands were tied, and you can't buy anything, you can't talk to suppliers, and what Dave says goes. Yes, I mean, basically. Dave, do you handcuff Gina? No, I've not handcuffed her. The only thing I try to do is get her to cost compare. You've got to try to keep food costs lower. Are you telling me that what you're sending is value for money? It's... No, it's not. Nowhere near it. Am I the only one that believes what we're doing is incorrect? Zach, you're not a restaurant manager. Your heart's not in it, young man. Mm -hmm. 
And I asked you one vital question lunchtime. If your parents didn't own this restaurant, would you be here? And immediately, hell no. I know we're in trouble. The lodges around here are more successful. They're much more successful, and they're not even half as lovely. Can I just have five minutes with you? Do you mind? OK. Let's go, uh... Thank you. This is on a deck of cards at the moment that I feel it's about to collapse because it's built with no infrastructure. Mm -hmm. How's the strain of the business affected you and Dave? We've had a lot of really, really hard years, you know, a lot of arguing. Things that I think are really important, um, he doesn't, and vice versa. Why is he so stubborn in a way that he's so overbearing and so controlling? I think he's just really scared of uh, losing things, so he tries to watch everything, you know, and Dave wanted Zach to kind of learn the business so that in case anything happened to him, that we didn't lose everything, our kids didn't lose anything, all of our investment, right? And you probably know the terrible things that we went through. Well, I disappeared, right? Because I couldn't function, so he did it all himself. He ran the business without me, and he did the best he could, and he just did what he has to do, and that's what he does. He does what he has to do, and he knew that I was gone, and so he, he ran up by himself. Yeah. He needs to accept that he can't continue like this. Mm -mm. His heart might be in the right place, but his head's not in the game. Mm -hmm. You've got the view. The building's there, but right now it's just a shell. It's had better days. For sure. The really, really good days at the first. It was wonderful. We need to get that back. Good morning. Good morning. I came here yesterday and I asked everyone to be open and honest. And the first time I heard any honesty last night was with your mother. Not easy, that is it? I, um, don't condone your behavior. My behavior was what? I just felt like your la the language that you used wasn't that of an English gentleman like I would expect. I'm deeply sorry about that. What, what language did I use? A lot of F words. Um, I don't appreciate you using that language with my angel of a mother and my sister. Can I just stop you there? Because you're over-exaggerating a little bit because I'm not gonna give you brownie points standing in front of your mother telling me how upset you are when you're laughing and giggling with me at the same time. You see it as it is, you have to call it as it is. I like the fact you're standing up, so it takes me to swear for you to step up and act like a man. Please, you don't know shit. Did you just curse? That's disgusting behavior, young man. If you wanna have a little chat with me later, together, one on one, I'd love that. But stop being a hypocrite. You just sworn in front of your mother. That was a mistake, and I apologize, Mom. The hours you turn in, four o'clock in the afternoon, I don't know how you can call that a full day's work. Gina was frustrated at the fact you don't commit. Staff get no direction. And you walk around shaking cocktails. But I don't need to prove to you my not worth. No, I'm not asking you to prove it to me. Your father put you in charge of the restaurant. So the big question is, what is your son Zach doing here? My view was that he was going to come help me run the restaurant. He's not even giving any feedback or talking to Gina or even just asking service to not chew gum. Yes, it, it concerns me a great deal. OK. Shall we move on? I've got something really important to tell you. Please, yes. It's something that you're not familiar with. It's called feedback. Well, let's hear it. I spent some time this morning just travelling around, driving, thinking, contemplating, and popping into local places. Fly fishermen, locals, houses, cabins, you name it, I went there. Uh, the sad news is they don't want to come and sort of tell you to your face because it's a small community, um, but I've got the feedback. My daughter had a wedding reception held at the lodge. We'd go back and celebrate, but over the years, things have gone downhill. Dave makes us very, very unwelcome and he has pushed the town away. It doesn't feel like they want us there. 
The owner seriously, well, needs help. He's a total horse's butt. He has no idea how to handle employees or his customers. There was a time the community rallied round to help them, but he showed no appreciation, so it didn't last very long. After time, he was a jackass again. Couldn't care less. Too bad. So much potential there. Maybe they don't care. I don't know why everybody thinks I'm a horse's ass. I guess I am, huh? I try to be friendly to people. I, I treat them just like I treated you. If I come across cold and arrogant. You come across controlling, yeah. and you come across assertive. Yeah. We need to get them on our side, whether we like it or not. Their last comment to me was that if you are prepared to change and commit to change, then they would walk through those doors. Uh, Dave, I just want to spend a couple of minutes with you. Do you mind? Okay. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Why does Zach get so uh, defensive like that? I think insecurity, maybe. Um, guys, can you just give me five minutes, please? In fact, let's go outside. In fact, let's jump in the car. I mean, honestly, I'm here to help. Yeah. You, you come across so withdrawn. I don't know what to do about that. Where, where did that level of negativity come in? Well, it started when I first broke ground here, and all the locals started attacking us and trying to shut us down. You know, you have to put your head down and start swinging it. But then you were successful. Yeah, we were successful. And then I hired a shitty chef, and then they all took off and went away. And then I found a good chef, and some of them came back. But I yeah. can't please them all the time. Sure, but it's not all about the chef, Dave. It's, uh, you, you have to take part of the responsibility. You know, so these people leave um, and they let you down. You know, at the end of the day, that's on your shoulders, right? Yes. Didi dealt with that tragic loss yeah. of your son, and that took her a long time. Did you seek help when no. you lost your son? No. Did, did, who did you talk to? No I mean, one. No one. You, so you just came back into work? Yeah. Dave. The next day. The next day. Because there was no one here. I mean, how did you get through? How? Well, I just get through, you know? You, you go day by day. Time, time helps heal, you know, but there's a hole in your heart that never heals, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's never going to. Yeah. But have you expressed this to Dee Dee and that that's how you dealt with it? Because I think she's a little bit in the dark. I think she struggles to read you. Well, maybe. I just deal with it by, on a daily basis. You know, there's not a day goes by I don't think of my son and the loss, but, you know, you, you move on, you know? I still have to make a living. I still have to take care of Dee Dee's feelings and the kids and all of that. You know, sure. the kids got spoiled in the process because we coddled them a little bit, and yeah. it's obvious. And, and Zach's a product of that. But, yeah. you know, I, I come from, I believe that they should earn it. Yeah. But I'm in a situation, and I have been in a situation where you know, my wife doesn't agree with that philosophy. So it's a constant friction. In the same way with managing our restaurant and our business. She comes in here and wants to coddle employees and doesn't expect them to hold to standards. And I come in and I try to get yeah. them to hold to standards and I'm an asshole and we have conflict at home. So uh, as a result of that, I've tried to minimize the conflicts and let Zach deal with the restaurant because that's where most of our conflicts sure. were. The business may have suffered. I may have been an asshole on occasion. Well, I don't know what to do about that. You know, she, she doesn't understand my personality, but I'm a... Sometimes I take no prisoners and it offends people and Dee Dee doesn't understand that mindset. Mm -hmm. She's more of a, a off fluff. You can't build this thing like that. You're a tough fucker on the outside, but you have a heart and you can show emotion. I have a big heart. Then people need to see it. Yeah. Um, I'd like to talk to you about something that's been missing. When you built this place, we started off so well, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. So I've put something together that I think will help reinstate that love. Yeah. Bring that back to the forefront. Let's have a look. Wow, who's that there? Hey. Um... <laughs> look at that hair. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what happened? <laughs> Hell have I know. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Wow. Talk about handcrafted. Even the boys yeah, look how are involved. Little, look how little they are, yeah. yeah that's rare. Dave Smiley. Yeah, <laughs> that is rare. Yeah, that, that, that would have freezed that one there. <laughs> oh, man. 
incredible. You know, sometimes it's easy to forget. This is why you built this amazing lodge for the family, right, Didi? Yes. Oh. Choked me up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now, that's a picture I haven't seen forever. We need to frame that one on the wall. <laughs> These are the most amazing pictures. Beautiful. <laughs> Something quite magical about that first fish, right? Dee Dee, when you see those amazing pictures, what goes through your mind? Oh, just, just the memories and dreams that we had, you know, and everything just getting better and better and better, you know, and, and then just enjoying the property all of our life, right? It's a stern reminder to why you built this place. And just watching your face light up, reminiscing in some of those amazing times, it's so nice to see. Yeah. I didn't see it when I arrived. And that's what's been missing. Yeah. Those were good times. When we look back at the pictures that, of building the place, it brings back that energy that we had then. And um, it really does mean something. You know, we had, we've, we've raised a family here. We've, we've raised our kids here. All those memories were good memories. So it's always been worth fighting for, for me. She needs to fall back in love with it. But more importantly, with each other. Yeah. How important is this to you both? It's everything. It's the world, yeah. It's the world to us. It's all we have when it's done and said, you know. We spent our best years building this place and running it. And... You're confident we can get back there? You've got it in you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I feel so much better. Because now we're moving past all the bad things, and we're starting to take a look towards the good things. After boosting the spirits of Dee Dee and Dave, it was time to elevate the lodge itself. My team spent all night working to turn the Angler's Lodge into a destination worthy of its rich family legacy. Let's go. I can't wait to show the family what we've done. In you go, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Enjoy. Wow, look at that. Come on, jump in. Oh, how beautiful. Perfect. Oh, my God. Wow, look at that. Oh. Gone is that hideous blood colour. <laughs> um, inviting, gorgeous. Let's start off with that amazing reclaimed wood. The bedspreads, <laughs> brand new. Oh, I love it. New carpets. It's just beautiful. Is it? Yeah, it's amazing. I think you've, uh, you've opened our eyes to what the place can be. You've done a great job. It's just gorgeous. beautiful. It's amazing. It was just like a new joy. Kind of like when we opened it up the first time, it was like a brand new joy. It's something that we can reach for after going through such hard times. So we know what to do now. Look at the rocking okay. chair. Oh. Nice. But we wouldn't even want to leave. Oh, it's just beautiful. Here to check in? Yes. yes Great. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hi, Alex. How are you? Good, you? Good, good to see you. Good. You should see what they did to the rooms today. It was, it's amazing. I've created a delicious new menu, perfect for this region. And my team have been training the staff non stop to prepare them for a successful relaunch tonight. Here is our dinner menu. I've invited the locals back and a local food critic. So the lodge can rebuild these important relationships and get their reputation back on track. Everybody's attention just for a second. Our critic is sitting, watching, paying attention to everything that's going on. Thank you. Hello, we just wanted to welcome you all to the lodge and I hope you're enjoying your evening and uh, we appreciate you all coming in and trying us again and uh, we'd love to have you back. Can't beat the setting, of course, and from now on our food's gonna match all those things. So hope you're having a great time. Very nice to have everybody back. Okay. Welcome, have a great time. One short rib right up here. What are you doing? What are you doing? For the short rib, right? Right now is going three ribeye. Yes, chef. And then you're doing short rib. Are we send the appetizers? Look, look at me. No, you didn't, chef. So, it's my so, fault. Oh, for fuck's sake. Gina, Gina, come here, man. Come here. You're not even helping yourself. You're not talking to me, and you're just going into one. Okay. I'm going to force you to talk. Okay, so... 
Gina. Yes. Are you okay? I'm okay for you now. You sure? I promise. Okay, good. Again, Art's there. He can serve the soup. Art, would you please? Absolutely. Okay, soup boiling. We send the soup with one nice kale salad. So next up, Art, dress me a kale salad. No, 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 I've got the salad. You've got the salad, okay. Yes. Why can't he make the salads? Never has to be this difficult, but you can't work on your own. I've worked on my own many times, Chef. Gina, yes. Gina, come here. Come here. Are you listening or have you given up? No, no, by no I means. I told you, you cannot work on your own. You just shout, I work on my own all the time. Is it best you go now? No. You can't work on your own. I understand, Chef. You're gonna sink this place. Get a grip. OK? It's not difficult. Next ticket. Um, yeah, FYI in there tonight. Gina's struggling. Yeah. Kurt stepped up, Art stepped up. Uh, but with a menu that easy, if your mind's not in that, uh, yeah, you've got no chance. Kale salad in the window, table 26, seat one. Thank you. Is that for the uh, critic? Yes. Can you season it? I did salt, pepper, and Give me fresh one, please. Um, Art, take over, please. Uh, Gina, take a step back. Art, Gina's on the desserts. Let's go. OK, I got chicken in the oven. So were those three apple crisps in the oven, or you forgot them? They are in the oven, Chef. Yeah. Uh, Dunny, reheating a dessert, I expect you to nail. That's your table. You know that nice and gently. Yes, sir. Off you go. Roasted chicken with the crispy skin. And we can't do a scoop of ice cream. No answer. We can't do a scoop of ice cream. It's cold in the middle. OK, I will redo oh, it. Geez, stop. Stop. I want you to take your apron off and okay. then go home. Art, take over, please. OK. How's my desserts? Ready to roll? It's not working, is it? I'm just nervous. No, it's not working. You know it's not working. I'm not going to shout, I'm not going to scream, it's just, it's unfair. It's unfair on you and it's unfair on the lodge. You're sending a short rib to a table that we haven't even sent the starters. No. You, you, you're, you're destroying the lodge. I've got a critic that's just landed. One mistake like that and this place is going to close. Heard, understood. I'd like to finish out the evening and see how it goes. It's not working. If you're going to go back in that kitchen, what are you going to do differently? What's the point? I want to keep working so that I can get it down. She's not listening. You're not listening. You're not, even, you're not even prepared to take any advice, any help. I know. It's been a long time, Chef, since somebody was telling me exactly what to do, and it's different for me. We, we can't continue like this. There's no point in fighting this. Yes, Chef. Oh, man. OK. Dee Dee Dunn, Dave, Gina, it's just not up to speed. Yeah. Right? If you can't work with this menu, it's not going to happen, so... Yeah. The good news is, Art and Kurt, already up to speed. Already. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's good news. Uh, good feedback for the customers? Incredible. Uh, really Everybody was very happy, loved yeah. everything, compliments all around, not a single complaint. That's great. great Any difficult questions from the critic? Nothing difficult at all, no. He was uh, he's very friendly, very nice, and just really enjoying everything. He's like, this was simple, and it was beautiful, and it was perfect. Awesome. Nice. Good night, right? It was a really good yeah. night. You happy? Yeah. I am happy. Good. Very happy. Look at that smile. Nice. I'm just so happy to have nice. so nice people to see back you in here. You yeah, know? well, I mean, they're happy, right? Yeah. That's the most important thing. But there's one tiny missing link. Someone that I've arranged for all three of you to meet. Her background is extraordinary. She knows the area inside out. And I've asked her to come here for a month and help set this place up, and I want you to benefit from her knowledge. Please welcome Emily Hello, Brown. Hello, how are you? I'm Emily. Dee Dee. Dee Dee, pleasure. Hi, Zach. Nice to meet you, Zach. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you, Zach. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you, Nice to see you. Likewise, welcome. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Um, first of all, she knows this business inside out, and she's excited to work as a consultant for a month and help set this place up for a very, very busy season. Yeah, I've heard all about you guys. Really yeah. excited to get you guys where you really need to be, so. Well, welcome. welcome. Um, I want you two to do something you haven't done for a long time. 
<laughs> I'd like you to take your dear lady and go and have dinner. Oh, nice. Won't that be nice? Yes. Tonight, <laughs> Zach's got a table for you. Oh, uh, that'd be great. Excellent. It's the first time I've seen them holding hands. Do you? Mm -hmm. See Dave smiling. It's like the pressure's lifted off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the love is rekindled for sure. And I'm really excited to have everybody in Island Park start coming back again and being excited about the lodge like they were when we first built it. Uh, my time is done. You're leaving Are you now? leaving now? I am leaving now. You guys have a great spark here. Trust me, you need to show it. Don't stop. Good night. Take care. Bye. God bless. Thanks. Thank Bye. you. Enjoy dinner. Thank you so much. Take care. <laughs> Here's to me and you, man. Cheers. Better days to, ahead. Yeah, to a new lodge. Wow, what a nice. Oh, man. That's better. Man, that's cold out there. This is a fucking handbrake. Where's the gear stick on the steering wheel? I shouldn't drive. Fucking useless. Man. <laughs> After I left the lodge, the family embraced the many changes and is excited about the future. Both Didi and Dave have rekindled their passion. You're doing good, honey. We're a good team. And are enjoying working together to make Angler's Lodge the place to be once again.